everyone has been asking me this question about uh, what profiles am I using to print and it's not a top secret I just hadn't had a time I um, had the chance to get around to doing the video so hopefully you guys find what I'm about to show you very helpful when doing your sublimation okay first thing first when you have an Epson printer is that you have to download an Epson driver um, I thought you know I think I have that linked in another video but here Epson drivers and utilities combo package okay so when you click on that you want to go to the Epson website Okay, then you will put in your equipment, so whatever your product name is. And honestly, you could just go to Epson.com forward slash support. So, you know, I have the 2720. I also have the Workforce 7720. So let's just do Workforce 7720. And as you can see right here, First thing you see is the drivers and utilities combo package installer. And then you click on and you know download and then you go through the whole gambit, okay? I don't need to do that because I've already downloaded that. All right? So it's already been downloaded. So let's just go as if we're about to print something um, once we have downloaded. I'm just going to open up Affinity Designer. I don't even know if I have anything on here. So let's just see. Sure, let's restore it. Okay, so let's say we have this and we need to go ahead and print this for sublimation. You're going to go up to file, then print. And our Epson 7720 pops up. Now this is where everything gets interesting. So right here it says paper size 19 by 13 as if I was going to print this uh, landscape mode on 13 by 19 but when I did this document it was 11 by 17 in portrait okay so I'm actually gonna go up to tabloid here and turn change this to tabloid 11 by 17 whatever size you're using you need to pick that over here okay now rain and scale done the next thing you need to worry about is called color matching this is what everybody's been talking about so we could do color sync or you can use this button over here, which is the Epson color controls. I do color sync. Under color sync, you have these profiles. I choose the Epson IJ printer 07. I don't know why I, I read that somewhere and I've stuck with it and it works very well for me. So that's what I use. Okay, that's that. Don't do anything else. You want to go to printer features okay so here again it still has the default paper I have to go in and change that to tabloid 11 by 17 um, my paper is in my cassette one I think I'm not looking at it right now um, the paper I personally use premium presentation paper mat I know a lot of people to use the high quality plain paper and I think that's because the high quality plain paper doesn't absorb as much as the ink or something like that. Therefore, it can give you a brighter 
uh, payoff when you press. Don't quote me. Do your own research. Matter of fact, play around with it. For me, I use the premium presentation paper mat. Okay. Um, my uh, I have it on standard for the speed when it prints. Standard print quality, best quality. Mirror image is on. Okay. Now, mold here, Epson Vivid. My gamma is 2.2. .2. My color, Epson color, is normal. And I don't have anything else on, really. Resolution. I have it the highest it can go, 600 by 600 DPI. And that's because I'm using the Work 47720 today. If I were using the um, EcoTank, 2720 that one actually goes up to 720 it has a great resolution and i love the color payoff on my eco tank the 7720 works very well too you guys have seen me print from this however the highest it goes is the 600 by 600 whereas on the eco tanks at least on the eco tanks 2720 that one can go up with resolution up to 720 all right and then you just click on print it's easy peasy is very simple y'all and that's just what i do okay so um yeah thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe bye